Mmm, that was so good. Mmm, the black of the berry. The sweet of the juice. You know, as I sit here in the blackberry field, with the blackberry vines all around me. You've been an artist for decades, mm -hmm. and you know you're an American treasure as mm -hmm. far as artists go. And apparently, you've been making music for many, many years, but not publicly. Mm -hmm. And you didn't actually start releasing your music until 2012, so only six years ago, at the age of 62. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell us why you decided now is the time to bring music forward? I believe it wasn't my decision; it was time's decision. And when I say time decision, the humanities have spirits. So it's the spirit of the humanities on the mothership, because I think life, kind, or every seed and everything that's livable or will live, maybe needed a spokesperson to speak on its behalf. And maybe I was raised up to be that person. Mm -hmm. Again, it's hard to say for what and why I am. But in definition of what I am and who and what I've used as far as the materials of our time mm -hmm. and singing songs about what's happening right now. See, we as humans, sometimes we have so much growing around us uh, 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 until we don't know, know what to do. The black blood of So let me ask you about your experience now that you've got a record coming out and you're doing Pickathon, you're doing a bunch of festivals and tour dates. How is that every night being in front of a new group of people? How does that feel? Uh, I was always, in a sense, from 1982 when my works went to the Smithsonian. Uh, the title of the show was More Than Land and Sky, Art from Appalachia, and I had two pieces in that show called Time and Baby Being Born. So even then, I was speaking on the behalf of time mm -hmm. and how we could misjudge time or do something that collapse, that causes all of our periods to collapse. Mm -hmm. I was always, have always been trying to be submissive as far as the ancestors are concerned, the real, the, the, the reality of time. Mm -hmm. Let us get with that the historical notes of time are in my songs that's going to be on this new album. It's going to talk about that. It's going to talk about how we have orchestrated our from the decorations of the independence through all the paperwork that has ever went on in Washington, D.C. somehow or another. Those papers have been preserved and now called historical memorabilia and that memorabilia is on exhibit for us to see what other humans did and thought and how they acted, all the way to the biblical pictorial pages. So my thing as an artist, because I've already been there and I've had a chance to walk through those galleries and those exhibit spaces of the Smithsonian in an early period of my art career, allowed me to not only recognize what it were that I was doing, mm -hmm. but become more of a soldier mm -hmm. at what I was doing, mm -hmm. knowing that the responsibilities to art, to all the arts of the earth, in a sense, uh, really will rely on how I take from the trash, garbage, junk and debris and make art out of it. The 
Berry. What I said about myself, and I sung it before, saying I ain't. I'm no more than a human. I try not to act like I'm, I got any more knowledge or wisdom growing than any other person could have growing. I try to let those persons know, you all got this capability. Now allow it to grow, but allow it to grow uh, in a sense not only respectful to your ancestors, but respectful to those that would have to inherit it mm -hmm. and get an understanding of it. Pull out the databanks and spread out that the databanks contain in their databases and spread all of that out and try to get, oh wow, this is, this is okay. Terabyte after terabyte after terabyte of researching that the humans in the future is gonna have to do mm -hmm. about us. Mm -hmm. the humans right now. So that's that's what I'm that's what my music is all about.